I was overweight at 160 pounds. I had severe depression to the point where I had suicidal thoughts every single day. My anxiety was through the roof where my heart would beat so fast every single time I was uncomfortable. There were times where I would leave events early or I just wouldn't go or I would un RSVP close to the time that it was going to start because I just felt so uncomfortable being around people. I also had autism, so small talk was very difficult for me. Because of these things, I was tired all the time. I would have to use my 30 minute lunch breaks at work to go to my car and take a nap because I was so tired. Or when I was working from home, I would just take a nap at home. I would drive to the gas station on my 15 minute breaks to get a bunch of chocolate. I would buy three king size candy bars, chocolate bars, and eat half of those. So one and a half of them to get myself through the rest of the day and then go and eat the rest later because I just needed sugar to keep myself up. I was self-conscious about my body and every time I looked in the mirror, I was constantly bloated because of the foods I was eating and then I felt depressed because of the way that I looked. The junk food cravings were horrible. I would go to fast food restaurants three to five times a week just to eat that food. The acne breakouts were bad as well. Every time I ate salty foods or refined sugars or junk food, I would have these constant acne breakouts. I also had a lot of headaches due to being constantly dehydrated and my TMJ was worsened with the stress that I was under. I came across Freely the Banana Girl and I started watching a lot of her videos and educating myself on the foods that I should be eating. Fruits, vegetables, seeds, and nuts, but mainly fruits. And I came across some other people in the raw food community as well who are also saying to eat more fruit. The suicidal thoughts got worse at one point and eating animals was grossing me out. I was actually eating animals one to two times a week and every time I would eat it, I would get like not even halfway through eating it and I would think, oh my gosh, this was a live animal. Why am I eating this? I can't eat this anymore. And then I would have to throw my meal away and this was obviously a waste of food and a waste of money. So then I decided I really just need to do a 30 day fruit only challenge to see how I would feel. Today, I have stuck to my healthy eating habits and I have lost over 35 pounds. My depression, anxiety, and autism are completely healed. I'm no longer overweight. It feels good to be a size one to two again. It feels good to be confident in my body. It feels good to want to go to the gym. It feels good to wear the clothes that I want to wear. My food digests perfectly. My junk food cravings are gone. I have a lot more energy. I feel good getting out of bed in the morning. My skin has cleared up and my TMJ is significantly better. 